And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Buitri Raptor, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube. So thanks. It was a dromaeosaurid that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Argentina, and four skeletons were found in 2004 in Patagonia by a team led by Sebastian Apesteguia and including Peter Makovicki during an excavation. It was described and named in 2005 by Makovicki, Apesteguia, and Federico Agnolin. The type species is Buitriraptor gonzalezorum, and the name means vulture raider. It was found in the fossil site La Buitrera, the vulture roost. So that makes sense. <laughs> That's intense. Yeah. The species name is in honor of Fabian and Jorge Gonzalez, who helped excavate and prepare the fossils. Only two of the four specimens have been described. At the time that Buitriraptor lived, South America was an isolated continent, and discovery of B tree raptors showed scientists that dromaeosaurs lived in more areas of the world than they previously thought. It was the first evidence of dromaeosaurs in South America. And it showed that they appeared around 180 million years ago before Pangaea broke apart, though later studies found that they didn't actually appear until 160 million years ago. And some scientists think that dromaeosaurs started in Laurasia and then migrated to Gondwana in the Cretaceous. Since dromaeosaurs from the southern hemisphere have characteristics that northern dromaeosaurs do not have. Anyway, Buitri Raptor shows mosaic evolution. It has dromaeosaurid, troodontid, and avian traits. It had a bird-like pelvis, wing-like forelimbs, and a large hollow wishbone. It's similar to Ronavis, which previously had been considered a primitive bird, but now is considered potentially to be a dromaeosaur. Buitri Raptor is estimated to be about 5 feet or 1.5 meters long and weigh about 6.6 pounds or 3 kilograms. It had an elongated head and small teeth compared to the height of its skull. And the teeth were between 0.6 to 4.6 millimeters tall. It's a little guy with little teeth. Yeah. <laughs> it had long, slender jaws, which was good for preying on small lizards and mammals that hide among rocks. And its teeth were recurved and angled towards the back of the mouth, so they could have been like hooks to keep prey in its mouth. The teeth were also serrated, so that would have been good for cutting into flesh. And they had grooves on the surface of the crown. They had a lot of teeth, about 25, which is more than other Laurasian dromaeosaurids that had between 11 and 16 teeth. And they had a sickle claw on the second digit of its foot, which was short and broad and probably used for pinning prey. Which is not surprising, because it's considered to be a dromaeosaurid. Yep. They also had long forelimbs with three fingers in each hand. The fingers were proportionately shorter than other dromaeosaurids, and each finger was about the same length, unlike other dromaeosaurids whose second digits were longer. Interesting. Long forelimbs, but short fingers. <laughs> yeah. And they also had an elongated body and shallow rib cage. They may have had feathers because Microraptor and Sinorthosaurus, who are relatives, did have feathers, but no feathers of Buitriraptor have actually been found. Buitriraptor also was possibly prey for larger animals like Mapusaurus and Giganotosaurus, who lived around the same time and place. I'm surprised they say that it would have been prey for such large animals being so small. Maybe it was easy prey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 